What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to be watching what I call part four of Tales of Runeterra. So this one is called After Victory. Now, recently I watched None Escapes, which was a uh, really good, really good ending. Uh, and this one is gonna be basically number four for me. I believe there's seven in total to date to watch, and I'm planning to go through all one to seven. So I have watched uh, Before Glory. I've also watched The Raid, which was really good. Most recent one was None Escapes. And this one is called After Victory. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Beast. Oh. It is over. We have the city. Surrender your crown. End this bloodshed. Hmm. That was quick. That was quick. Hmm. Hmm. Crown is mine by birth. Granted to me by my royal blood. Anymore. As are the plans and my, my subjects. You no longer have subjects. I <laughs> stuck. Today, they okay. become citizens of Noxus. Noxus. Rejoice at the end of kings. Noxus offers freedom and fortune Don't do for it. any strong enough to take it. Don't do it. My crown returned to me by a <laughs> slave. Rude, you know, slave. Unworthy even to touch it or what? stand in my presence. <laughs> Don't you see, Noxium? The gods return the crown to me! End this bloodshed? No! The kingdom is mine! Mm -mm. Or it is a graveyard! Show them, girl. Die for your king! Mm -mm. Go! No. Insolent fellow! <laughs> that was quick. demand you kneel before their heirlooms and unearned titles. Noxus wants you to stand, so you can be reforged in a glory shared by all. Legend. Okay, decent, decent. First thing I'll say is that girl I'm gonna call Aya Star, she changed side real quick. Real quick. For one minute she's there attacking these guys, attacking this big this big guy. I don't know what you're gonna call him, the giant. Giving the crown back to the king, and then the next minute obviously she turns quick to the other side. But I can kinda of see why. I can kinda of see why. That king deserved everything he got. Anyway, let me go back to the beginning, watch it one more time, see what we can pick out. See what I mean? In my name, hold them back! It is over. We have the city. Surrender your crown. Mm, 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 mm. End this bloodshed. Oh. I love this part as well. I love how they didn't need to kill any of them to make them surrender. It was just fear, wasn't it? It gets the guy, doesn't it? Burst through the door. 
The guy flies back on the floor. The big giant guy puts his, his ball and chain down, doesn't it? And he just stands on the guy's head. He doesn't even need to use a weapon. He just uses fear to make the guy surrender. And then all he needs to do is to say, stand down, and he puts his weapon by his side, and that's it. It really reminds me of, um, do you know, in Batman, do you know, Bane in Batman, how he uses a lot of psychological warfare to beat his opponents. He doesn't need to physically touch them to defeat them. And I like how it kind of like alluded to that in this scene here as well. Even though I did touch him, he kind of stood on his head, but you know what I mean. Crown is mine by birth. <laughs> Granted to me by my royal blood. As are these lands and my, my subjects. <laughs> I love that as well. I love how his voice gets quieter and quieter as this giant gets closer to him. You know what I mean? He's all cocky at first, isn't he? And then he uh, gets a bit quiet. I like that. You no longer have subjects. Today, they become citizens of Noxus. Rejoice at the end of kings. Noxus offers freedom and fortune for any strong enough to take it. Oh, it's got a hurt. My crown. You see, this is the thing here. He had an opportunity, didn't he? The king had an opportunity, if he was smart here, to play his cards right. But he didn't. Returned to me by a slave. Ruined it. Unworthy even to touch it. Or Ruining stand it. in my presence. Ruining it. <laughs> Don't you see, Noxium? Ruined it again. The gods return the crown to me. End this bloodshed. Oh well. No. Oh well. The kingdom is mine. Or it is a graveyard. Show them, girl. Die for your king. Go! Hmm. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Kings demand you kneel before their heirlooms and unearned titles. Noxus wants you to stand, so you can be reforged in a glory shared by all. Play. That's cool. That's a cool shot as well. That's nice. 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 Okay, so the first thing I'll say on this after watching it the second time round is the main character in this. I don't know his name. The main character, the one with the axe. He looks, if I was just to guess, he looks like a villain. Just how he... How he the colours, the actual, the weapons and his armour, he looks like a villain. But after watching this, he's a decent guy. The guy is a good guy. Obviously, he's off of democracy. He doesn't, he doesn't obviously, he doesn't think that birthright grants you anything. So I like the theme of the video as well. And I like how it showed that he didn't, when the girl tried to attack his, his, his general, the guy that was with him, he stopped him, didn't he? He didn't let him retaliate. He let it play out. And I like how cool headed and calm he was. He knew that if, if I let it play out, the king will basically hang himself in his own words. And he did. So I like how that, that kind of showed that as well. So yeah, overall decent, decent trailer. Uh, good part four. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction and kind of breakdown of this um, this video as well. And also if you did, feel free to like, comment and also subscribe for more content like this. Like I said at the beginning, I think it's at the beginning, I will be going through all seven of the tales of Rune Terrier. So um, yeah, I will be going on to part five next. And uh, yeah, um, also if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell icon as well so you don't miss out on future content. And I will see you guys in the next one.